Hello everyone, my name is Vikas and this is uh, one more session from Tutorial Diary on Solidity. In this session we are talking about logging here and we are specifically talking about low level logging in the Solidity. So in the previous video we have discussed about the error handling, how we can handle the faults and how we can throw the faults and error in the Solidity by using assert, reward and require and throw and uh, this is one more important topic which we have in Solidity programming language which is logging. You people might have used the events in the past to uh, kind of do a logging where you can use the console.log uh, statement to do the logging on the console level. But apart from that there are few more options which uh, very few people are aware which we will talk about in this session which we will talk which will show you that how you can use a low level logging in a solidity language. So let's go ahead and start with that one and let's see how we can do that one. So the question comes that uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm hopeful that you are already aware about event logging, how events work and in case you don't, don't know about that one you, you can refer to our uh, other blogs where we have explained about the events. Uh, Basically, we write the events in the smart contract, then we generally call from the uh, Web3 library where we can watch the event and we can uh, get the value from the input values which we have for the events. So this is how we generally do the logging in that uh, Solidity. But uh, the question comes that do we have any other option available apart from that events in the Solidity? So the answer to that question is yes, we do have other option available which is kind of known as low level logging. So that is what we have the agenda for this session and for this video and we'll show you that how this works. So first of all we'll make you aware about the low level loggings, what that really means and how you can use that one and how it look like in the remix browser. So this is uh, the slide which talk about that there is a low level interface logging mechanism uh, we have in the Solidity which we can use to do the logging of your values. So this is the logging start from log 0 and it goes log 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on till log i. So log i is an integer value which start from 0 and goes till uh, some positive number. It can be like we have just shown here one, two, three, but it can be many more. So how it structured like that one uh, in every log statement, the very first value is data. The data which you want to log, it can be any value. It can be your message root value. It can be message root balance, the sender name, any string value. So this will be your actual data which you want to store. And the second parameter will be topic. So if you say log one, uh, then it required two parameters. It will be like one plus one. When you say log two, it required three parameters. So first parameter will be a data, and then, then next two parameter will be like a topics. It can be topic can be equivalent to your IDs. Like you have some ID one two three, so this can be your equivalent to your ID. Okay, so this is how the low level logging works. This is how you can use that one, and very important part which you have to understand here that all these values, data topics, this is always in the byte 32 form. This is not generally you can, you, you cannot pass like integer or string. It should be byte 32 format only, which you have to pass, which we will show you in the uh, hands-on sessions. So this is how the low level work, or low level logging works in this uh, Solidity. This is how it will look like. So now let's go and jump to the uh, remix and just see how we can use this logging and how it will look like when we'll use that one. So let me go to the remix browser. Uh, uh, let me create one new uh, contract here and let me name this as low level logging. Uh, okay, so what we'll do, we we'll write that statement, pragma, sorry, GT and uh, 0.4.20 this is the version I'm going to use for this one I'm going to name the same name as the contract low level logging so what we'll do here in this one I'm just going to uh, create one simple variable 
result I'm just going to create one function here I'm just going to show you the functionality just creating very basic uh, smart contract here and the functionality in that in that one function uh, set result so I would expect a value in that one in the input I would say input is my input here and then public value I would expect returns here uh, let's assume I will not have any return mm, or oh, let's add some return value here as well uh, it may be string okay so what we'll do here uh, in this case I want to do a logging now okay so first of all let me return uh, the input what we have here now what I want to do I want to do a logging here so uh, as I just shown in the PPT you can do a logging uh, like any, any ways you can do any kind of login here basically okay uh, so before I put a login I just want to show that in case you don't have a login how it will look like so first of all let me uh, have result updated with this value input value and then let me return the result value only okay so let's go ahead and just uh, compile this one and just then we'll deploy this one so this is go deploy uh, compiled and now let me deploy this one okay let me deploy again so once we deploy let me uh, set some value I would say test okay now if you just expand this one you can see uh, when you have deployed or when you are calling this function your logs are currently blank if you can just see here there is no value in the log right now you can just see here both it's all empty because logging is not defined yet uh, so once we define logging we'll show you that how you can define logging and then it will be uh, shown here so once you click on result it will show you the value so now in both the calls you will not see any logging there is no logging at all now let me clean this one now let me do one thing let me add a logging here let me do after this statement I will do for log 2 first of all let's do for log 1 now as I mentioned that all the values the input which you have it will be in the uh, bytes 32 form so I can just pass a value here as an input and let me uh, so since this is a log one I have to pass two parameter okay one is uh, actual input and second is your ID this is a uh, topic so topic let me take I have just noted few examples let me take this value as a topic uh, okay so what do you have if you have just seen what we have done we are just passing data as the first parameter and second parameter is your ID or topic okay so let's go ahead and compile this again okay, we're showing okay so we have to convert let me make this change let's assume by the two we'll get it here I will just change this to just to make the sample very simple okay mm, by 32 only okay let's compile now okay this is being compiled right now and let me run this one and deploy basically so now once you deploy uh, let me pass some value maybe here uh, let me pass this value as this one this is the bytes okay now when we call this function so we have logging enabled here so now we expect that we should have some value in the log so now you can see here what we have we now logging is showing right now let me copy this one and just show you show you that how it will look like let me take it here and show you so you can see it here uh, and the other way also the first one also let me show you both So you can see it here so this is the address the from address basically this is your data basically data is your input whatever input you have given 
So I have given this as the input. If you remember, zero x two four double zero one three. This is being shown to me. This is being converted to hexadecimal. All the missing zero has been added in the background. So this is my actual data which I have sent, and this is my topic, right? So this is topic. If you remember, I have put this value zero x two four double zero one two. This is being shown here. So this is how the logging works. You can just ignore a below value. This is having some more detail which we don't require, but this is how it will look like. So currently you have put log one. That is the reason you see uh, one data, one topic. So let's assume you want to put log two. So what you will do here? You will you have to add one more topic. Okay, let's do that one and try and see how that will behave. And let me change to one three. So now data will remain same, but The IDs and topics are two right now, which we are having it here. So let's compile it again. Now let me deploy this again, and first of all, let me clean this one, and I will deploy, and then I will run this function. Uh, in the function, I will pass its value. Let me take this value and pass it here. Or maybe I will just change the value one one here. Set results. Now let's open this logging and see how. It behaves now. How it will look like now? If you just see it here, copy this one, change it here. Now you can see. I have passed this as an input. This is data shown here. Now topics are two because now I have put log two instead of log one. Two four zero one two four zero one three. So this is how the low level uh, low level logging works right, right now. You will don't get. As you can see, the same thing here. You can just see it, the same thing here. This is this logging is is being shown here. If you if you don't add this log activity or log statement, it will not be shown. It will be blank for now. But if you add the log, it will be shown. So this is how the low level loggings work in the Solidity, and this is how it can be used. So, but you have to just remember that one. You will not get the input in the same format. So suppose you are changing from string to bytes. You are passing hello. You will not get the hello here. Your input will be converted to hexadecimal, and then if you want to get the actual message, you have to convert from hexadecimal to the actual value which we are, which you want to check. So this is how this is a pretty much uh, which we have the logic section in this video. Uh, I hope you like this video, and thanks for watching.